Hello, my name is Alter and welcome back to an uh, afterthought for you. That's right, you heard it right uh, here. Um, I'm not going to do a blind reaction, nor am I going to do a post-episode reaction. I was thinking about doing a post-episode reaction, but I was like, maybe I'll do a post-episode reaction just in case I don't cover much in this one. But I definitely think this afterthought would be enough. Uh, I haven't watched the episode yet, but I will watch it and I'll be uh, choosing the scenes that I really think could be talked about and uh, discussed about and this and that and also i'm pretty much doing this because you know a lot of a lot of copyright has been on my channel and i i'm finding three copyrights right now copyright claims i hope to be done with that and then we can go back to the um, normal uh, blind reactions hopefully after my finals and everything um, i'm getting a better camera again just just letting I, you guys know uh so yeah guys i will catch you uh, after i watch the um, after i watch the episode and we will be breaking down this uh this episode together hopefully uh okay i will see you um after the after this um after this cut see you then Welcome back. Uh, so yeah, okay. So this episode, uh, just let me give you the general rundown here. Was uh, pretty interesting. I, I definitely thought so. Uh, we uh, met up with uh, some new uh, characters and a new side of things, um, and they brought a, a new uh, thing to this, which is kind of like what I was actually expecting. But also, I didn't know if they were really doing this or not. Um, but uh, apparently it is kind of like a show within a show and you know there's gonna be a uh, like a breaking of fourth walls and everything so yeah that's that's definitely uh, a layer that uh, they decided to add okay I decided to choose this scene in particular because uh, this scene is where Arthur uh, decides to ask um, decides to ask uh, Grace about uh, her um her uh, sister uh i'm sorry my brain is like lagging because i just watched this and um she doesn't look too happy right here uh so you just let me play the line here no it's not selfless you didn't know no of course not but i know it's not so hard to have my little sister yeah so she's mentioning her little sister here Uh, she try. Uh, she there's some uh, banter here. And see, there's the um, there's the shop. Yeah, there's the. Um, there that is a good place to start. But uh, we were cut off because they were in uh, Steel City right there, and uh, in that moment, uh, we we uh, look into uh, the maybe the depth of uh, Grace. Because she did leave, leave her sister in the asylum and um, there's a lot to be said right there and uh, maybe, you know, because uh, there's not uh, too, too much of a mystery there but it is enough for me to go, yeah, why did she, she leave uh, her sister there? And uh, you know we we uh, we have to find out maybe in the next few episodes or something like that. And uh, I definitely think that because the, we leave on the last frame, and I'll talk about it there when when I get to that. Uh, uh, because we leave on the last frame, and uh, it was um, uh, like a pink nail, and you know she was just, um, polishing her nail or or he. I, I'm not sure, uh, but I definitely think is maybe uh, Grace's. Um, sister i maybe think it is because like i'm like hmm i don't know why we left on that baby we'll we'll definitely be um like uh explained so uh, yeah we'll just have to see in the next episode as well uh so yeah let me just uh, go to the middle where we see the um, the, um well, it's pretty much a cult because this is like the steel city and everything and you know everyone's like uh, oh the, you know um, basically like technology is good and etc all that goodness I feel like I definitely think this scene in particular is pretty good um, where you know the they find uh, the car and everything and they're bringing it in uh and uh the scene where uh 
Arthur pretty much, you know, decides that uh, it's time to kind of give in, so to say, to the whole world around him and basically to compromise with everything around him. So, uh, yeah, so this is the part where, this is not yet the part, but this is the part where uh, he meets up with the leader of the Steel City people and um, they're like, oh, you know, we've been here for a long time and, uh, you know, we, we we know what's out there that's why i have to keep the people here and everything but the leader is not being um not being truthful to her cult because you know uh it's it's hard to sustain a, um, a society based on gas because their gas is running out and everything so that's really hard to do and i definitely understand why she wanted to leave so that's something that i'm like yeah it didn't make sense and i kind of enjoyed like seeing her character like even though it was very hammy to see the the whole cult and everything but i definitely think that's that's part of the the weird sur uh, like the weird surreal world that they live in and uh, the part where um julian's link has to you know compromise with the uh, whole broadcasters and everything is really funny to watch because that was like i was like yeah th that makes sense because you know he's an artiste and at, um, you know in his mind and you know he wants things to go in his way so I'm just gonna try to look for that um, scene I'm not really sure where it is but uh, th th this is an interesting part as well where they meet up with um, some some creatures called glimmer or something like that I'm not really sure about the name but uh, Julian did say like yeah I decided but I was like yeah I didn't really catch that because like they're just I just call them glow in the dark Slenderman. Uh, I know I use Slenderman a lot, but you know it's, it's um it's um it's a popular game, and you know I never played that game, but I I kind of understand why people you know got so interested in it because you know it's it's a uh, it's a guy in a silhouette costume and just jump scares everyone to death. So that's pretty interesting in my opinion, uh, and uh, we definitely see the. Um, we definitely see the leader here in this scene uh, betray betray Arthur right here. This is the scene where she betrays him. And there's the betrayal. And uh, this is the part where um, this is the part where, um, like, Grace has to give her own blood because, you know, it's running out of fuel and everything. Uh, but I really like this uh, this scene right here where uh, he meets up with the Glimmer. And that's so, so interesting design because that is very much like, kind of like the um, demon uh, zombie mesh that I kind of enjoy. And I really like the green eyes because that's like real cool when it's getting into the light and everything. I'm sure it's makeup and everything like that, but I just really enjoy that. Because that is to me like that they really took into the lore of it because you know the lore is that there is these type of people who got too infected by the scar in the earth, you know, the big crack and everything. Uh, so that that makes sense because you know with uh, uh, the earth opening up and everything there is definitely some radiation from the earth car and everything so that makes sense and uh, this is the part where um, Arthur really has to choose uh, what to do with this glimmer here so I'm just gonna play it and uh, uh, oh and that's something interesting too because the, the glimmer right there if you didn't hear uh, the glimmer just said uh, help me help me so that definitely means there is humans in the glimmer but you know there's some primal uh, mutant inside of them the, the outside of them too like controlling their minds and everything so that's something that I'm like yeah that's just pretty interesting to to, to look at and uh, look out for for the next few episodes and uh, I'm just going for a little bit more because um, yeah uh, so this is the part where he's like, maybe I shouldn't do it, maybe I should, and then he's like, he looks uh, deep into the horizon, and um, uh, she's um, already uh, like um, opening the flare, and uh, I just, uh, I just 
felt that that was a really cool thing for for him to do because he didn't really want to kill the glimmer because of the the whole help me thing and i kind of know i skipped over that but uh i'm not sure um if you know we should see it because like i definitely think if we skipped ahead it would definitely been better as well it's just been like this and um uh, I definitely think that his choice uh, says a lot because you know he initially didn't want to do it um, you know when uh, Grace was all like yeah we should kill people just because we need fuel and he's like no that's not the proper ethical choice which is actually true but I think in, the, in this circumstance and this, and this world that, that's so rich with these type of violence uh, doings and you know all these type of like dark side to the world because the dark dark underbelly of the world like just usurped after the um, the whole crack in the, the 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 earth and everything so that's very something very interesting that that i have to go into because that is very much a philosophical thing because um the whole philosophical th the theory is that whenever an, an, an end of the world has happened you know society will regress back to its violent roots like you know killing people for 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 like upper gains and everything um so like water and uh, basic amenities and this and that and this and that because it's like we've, we we are seeing it right now as well like wars and um you know political uh, disembowelments and you know, all like structural deformations of governments we 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 witnessed that too. It's just an, a part of society because, like, when you reach that peak, you can never reach utopia because utopia is just um, a fictional world because utopia cannot exist with you know human nature. You know, utopia can exist with the pre-programmed uh, like robot because they, they they don't know greed they don't know love they don't know jealousy they don't know envy they don't know you know all of these type of things going in there and you know they're programmed to specifically do something and they will do it and carry it out till the end of their their lifetimes or their days or whatever so that's something I'm, I'm i was looking into and i definitely think that's interesting to, to, to talk about and uh, before I, I leave you guys, I'll just talk about the, the ending scene right here. Uh, which is, you know, um, Grace is going to talk to um, Arthur and everything. And uh, we are left with uh, this scene where um, the scholar is, uh, you know, skeptical about helping, um, helping Grace with her, you know, with her... Uh, with her plan to fuck around with uh, Julian's uh, box thingy to de deactivate the bomb in her head, and uh, you know, after this, we we are still left on the audience's note, and um, he gives uh, she gives him the um, the glimmer's blood, which is actually really good for the cars that run on blood, and I'm like, well, why not just go to Steel City? And kill a bunch of them and just collect the blood and you know run on the the glimmer's blood i mean if it's so good you can definitely do that but uh yeah i don't, definitely don't know why they didn't but i'm sure they'll they'll find a way to to explain it so i'm just gonna move on in uh, the 19 minutes here yes you see the the finger she's painting it or he's painting it i'm not sure because there's brandy here and you know I'm not sure if it's a girl or a guy, and uh, he the, or she motions that you don't wanna, they, they wanna kill them. Uh, so that's something interesting because that is that definitely means a broadcaster or uh, an audience wants them to die or wants them dead, and uh, you know it is it is definitely a cl the classic. Oh, you know this is the. This is what the, the people want in quotes because in tech 
Because it technically is not what the people want. It's just what the advertisers or the broadcasters, in this case, think they want. But it, it, it's not. It's not really. Uh, I definitely think that this show has uh, become more mundane, so to say. Like, I, do, I don't really have much to say. Like, this one as well, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. But uh, I definitely think that this show was pre still pretty interesting in the visuals and uh, the, the, the idea behind of it is, is pretty interesting to watch. But I definitely think we've seen this type of thing before and they know it too and they're trying to put a twist on it and I appreciate that obviously. And I, I hope I don't offend anyone by saying this but you know this, this show started off good but... I kind of was like, yeah, I don't know where they, they can go with this because uh, I've seen this before in like Mad Max and you know the Rocky Horror Movie Show with the Julian Slink and now we're moving into the Hunger Games area and you know uh, with the whole like being forced to race and everything that's very Hunger Games too like I'm like yeah that's very Hunger Games and uh, moving into the whole uh, glimmer in this one I was like yeah that's very Maze Runner so there's definitely a lot of cliches there's definitely a lot of um, a lot of similarities I see in this series so there's not much to it that that can carry it I definitely think it's only gonna survive one season I definitely think that but you know if it makes to makes it to uh, the second season I definitely think that there is an audience for this I'm just not one of them but I, I'm just here to, to look at the visuals and just here to see the, you know, maybe some of the interactions between the, the characters and everything. Because some of the characters are pretty interesting and some of them are, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's good to see them again. I, my favorites personally are, you know, Arthur because, you know, he's very much the optimistic in a glimmer of bleakness thing type of deal and I know that's very cliche to say but I'm just like yeah he he is kind of that glimmer of hope and you know that shining brightness in this dark world and I think Grace definitely sees it too and that's why she's like I wish you would be more realistic but I think she's a bit thankful that he she, he's her partner because she might need more of that hopefulness going into saving her her sister and everything. Uh, and I, I also definitely think I, I enjoy uh, Julian Slink on a more um, intellectual level. And I appreciate that, you know, he's taking these these trials to, to go above and beyond and everything like that. And I definitely think he's trying his best to, to like compromise and also do it in his way but I definitely think he's gonna do it more his way than compromise because it's like when he was on the phone with all the other advertisers and everything the, the audience is the higher the higher up who are watching his uh, show so to say the blood drive show uh, they're like yeah we need more grace uh, and um, Arthur getting it together and uh, we need more uh, we need more of the other characters which I'm, I'm pretty much with them I'm like yeah I definitely think you know it's good to focus on your main characters but we definitely need the uh, other supporting characters to be like yeah this is this is what happening this is what's happening you know we don't we don't need to to cut too much to them but it's nice to have that supporting backbone um, and that's, that was just weird to, to hear that. I mean, it is, it is the breaking of the fourth walls and everything. I, I didn't expect them to say that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that was about it. Um, nothing really much to say. I don't I don't think I'll do the, the fourth episode. I'm not really sure. Uh, again, because just because I have exams coming up and everything. And everything is just a rush. I have done uh, some pre-planned videos and I will be releasing them after uh, blood drive um, you know this is just gonna follow the the normal uh, schedule uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next week cuz uh, I'm not really sure I might do one if it's if it's really good and uh, I just really want to talk about it 
Uh, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, afterthought because I really like this type of deal. No, I'm not really just talking. Uh, I'm also talking with visuals and um, the two back it up and everything. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys really enjoyed and if you did, please leave a like and if you want to see more, subscribe to me. And if you want to hear more news, updates or um, other fantastical stuff from my uh, video first hand, please remember to press that bell because YouTube do that. And I will see you in the next video. See you then.